uh, saw the nature, I saw the river, I saw the hills, how people and the nature uh, lived together. I grew up in the mountains. I come from a small village in Bhutan. I grew up uh, uh, in the Tarai uh, region of Nepal. I also come from one of the indigenous communities and our life is so much linked with nature and biodiversity. And now we all know that the climate change is impacting the mountains much more than any other regions. Now I can see that it is highly vulnerable to the impacts of climate change. This region provide water to 2 billion people. Our mountain region is changing very fast. Water has become a big issue. The sources, water sources getting dried up. We don't get snow, hot weather. Uh, without any rainfall. Changes in weather because of uh, climate-related shocks. The ice caps disappearing and the untimely rainfall. Now, more and more, we are experiencing unpredictable weather patterns. Erratic and sudden change in weather. Now, when we have too much water, we have uh, floods. When we have too little water, people are struggling to find enough water even for drinking purposes. The glaciers are the source of the water. I was truly shocked to see how far the glaciers have receded. Glaciers are melting very fast. Glacier lakes are expanding. The ecosystems in the mountains have been degraded. Forests are being cut. So when the rains come, then there's no there's no capacity of the ecosystem to buffer the rain. I could also see the uh, irrigation canals being washed away by the landslides. We are facing so many disasters. It takes lives, it takes livelihood. They have not been able to cultivate. The agricultural lands have been abandoned. I've seen people that uh, they just give up. Food security is gone. Sometimes we lost almost everything. The water levels are decreasing every year. The situation is grave. The situation is very, very serious. It is going to happen and it will actually reach the plus 1.5 degree threshold. Global goals of 1.5 degree has been being agreed, but still we are far, far behind to achieve that goal. We're heading towards 2 degrees or even 2.5 and that at three degrees, there will be no glaciers left in the Hindukush Himalayan region. All the predictions say is that we are going to lose the glaciers. So we know at, at some point we are all going to suffer. We are not talking about something that is going to happen 100 years down the line or 50 years down the line. It is happening now, the crisis here. People have to adapt to the climate change. Now we have to invest in adaptation measures, in building the resilience of communities uh, to the impacts of climate change. There are things which will happen beyond adaptation. Even that adaptation strategy will not be sufficient in the next 10, 20 years. Adaptation has limits. Now we're talking about hundreds of millions of people. We know that these challenges and risks are going to get greater. People who need to survive, they will have to move. Imagine the scale of the impacts that the melting of the glaciers will have on the billions of people who rely on, on the waters. It's possible to bring it back. There still is hope. If we don't act now, 
I'm afraid it's going to be too late. We have time to act, right? Uh, but then it's now. While we still have a chance to avoid that kind of scenario, it is our responsibility to find solutions. Raising the awareness. Using the solar power, using the wind power where there is a possible. Being an example. Get everyone to think differently. Not using the plastics. Working on the watershed is the key. Why the mountain or ice caps are disappearing? I mean, we all know they've, they've been studies, they've been evidences. Maybe for, for some of them, it's, it's a missing link. The world knows, everybody knows. It's, it's actually quite frustrating. We know the root cause. Greenhouse gases. The fossil fuel. The emission has to go down. I think we need to halt. That should be the first. That is first and foremost. There is no other option. Thank you.